Hi there, it's Carol there. Oh, Carol there. Carol here bringing you another video today. Today, um, most of it is stumping up, a little bit isn't. Um, I bought this die off the internet. Can you see it? It's not the stumping up one. Um, and I just had to have a play with it. So I stamped the image and then I die cut it out and then I put it back together again because I didn't want to leave any of it out. So I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I think that's a really cute little card. So I'm going to try and do it with the beautiful you. Um, we'll see how it works out. So the piece, this, is... Oops, my trimmer needs cleaning, I think. This is three and a quarter inches square. So I cut the piece of card at three and a half for some reason I don't know why I did that but we'll leave it like that for now so what I thought was I'd do this image and that fits but that's all that will fit on there so I will need to get a birthday and to celebrate we'll sort it we will sort it. Let me get the birthday. Let me get everything I need out. A really, really bad memory at the moment. Like, mega bad. It's... I've planned to do something and then by the time I've gone to do it, I've forgotten what I've gone to do. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, black memento ink. So... I'm planning this. This is um, somebody's birthday. The amount of cards I make, you would think that I'd have one, wouldn't you? But I decided I'll make one. It's easier. Now, I can't remember what her favourite colour is. But... There they are. My buns... I wanted to use on the background like a blackberry bliss so if I use these that'll work if I use lovely light lipstick and dark rich raspberry okay let's go with the light rich raspberry as well shall we there you go okay so I'm just going to colour it in This is when you get me and I'm silent. And what I want to do is, I think I'm going to have to, because the card's quite small, is put some layers on it. I love these blend pens. I really do. And they make me so quiet. Now this is the dark one. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Wow. Yay. Okay. And then what about what, what else have I got? Light, no, oh, there is a light night of navy. See, that doesn't look now. In my other box, I've got two boxes. I didn't think I'd got the both of the night of navies. I think that proves I need to write, I need to type it up and put it in the box lids because they do get messed up, especially if I take them to class. Light pool party. There you go, and I think that's it. I would that one goes there. There you go, and then that is what you need. You just cut it out. So let's get the big shot. That was 
all my stamps moving. Center it. There you go. So every square should have something on it. So I could move it over slightly. And by the, oh, you can't see. When that comes away, and I get my new toy, my spatula, and I pin them on. It's changing, do you think? Can it clean a one? At least it isn't warped. I say that and now it'll happen. Right, so what I want is I want to work out how Card base is three, four and three quarters. So I want this to be four and a half. I haven't I done that right? I can't measure. That's why. Right. If that's four and a half. And I want this to be on here. Here's at the bottom. What I'm trying to work out is I want to put the celebrate and I want to put the happy birthday on it as well. So I do I put the happy birthday inside. Do you know what? I don't know where these go. Not very good, is it? And I like jigsaws as well. Maybe that goes there. It's not too difficult, is it? There's only nine pieces, for goodness sake. It's not going to be majorly difficult. Maybe if I didn't have them all in my hand, that would be <laughs> much easier. Is that, ooh. And if I saw the picture, yeah, I think she's there. And that's there. And how bad am I at this jigsaw? That one goes there, and that one goes there. Got it. But that takes up nearly everything. Maybe. So, if we get a bit of scrap and get some Blackberry Bliss. No, I was using Rich Raspberry, wasn't I? Where is it? There it is. Rich Raspberry. And if I do the Celebrate... And then I get a pinch. I've got a feeling this pinch is going to be too... Oh, maybe. No, it's fine. Right, let's get it. That's good. That will work perfectly. So that means... Get this. Let's get that there. That means the happy birthday gorgeous needs to go on the inside. So why have I just put the ink away? I ask myself. Now, if this doesn't, I'm going to do it with a skew. There you go. And then it won't matter that it's not even my top tip of the day so that if you if you can't do it straight I mean you could I could have used the um stamparatus but, mm, 
No, we don't want any ribbon. Do we? We're okay. Is that okay? I think it is. And then what I did before, I just did that and kind of winged it. Kind of. Which I'm not sure how good that is, but look, it works. Don't know if that's too far down now. Oh, wow. Okay. Oops. There you go. I like doing this. It's cool. So I'm using oh, I'm using Stampin' Up stamps and ink. Just the die isn't stamping it. For the first time in ages, months ago, I decided not everything has to be stamping out. That one's a bit not lined up. It's kind of tough now because it won't come down. Oh well, it shows it's a jigsaw puzzle, doesn't it? And then all I want is to celebrate there. I don't think I need anything else. What do you think? Do I? I just like that. Shall I put a bow up there? This is my ribbon. It's a mess, basically. <laughs> it's a mess because I've got it all in the packets. I've got the twine over here. I've got clips. You know, I've got so much twine that I haven't used yet. I need to get on because Christmas will be over soon and I won't be able to use that really any other time. Right, what can I use? And then this happens and I go, oh, I haven't got any really. Even though I've got, I haven't got a lot, but ha I've got quite a bit. I don't use ribbon in every single thing, which maybe I should. Should we use this one? Because look, I've got two of those. <laughs> Where did the little white bauble come from? <laughs> I bet that's from a snowman um, hat. I did that the other day. I wonder where that's gone. I have no idea. Right, let's... I don't tie bows very well. I don't know why. This is the way I do them. That's too big. Way too big. I've seen people do like this and yeah, I have no idea what they're doing. I can't do it. So I have watched people on YouTube tie knots, which might sound really sad, but when you want to tie a knot, not a bow, when you want to try and do it properly, this is what you do. I tell you what, let's get rid of, let's bring in this, because I can do this. You bring that up there, and then I only want a small one, so bring it round, round, down. Bring it up so it's easier to get out. Bring that round and tie. Oops. Where's it gone? There it is. Right, let's tie using that. Come on, people, let's tie. 
properly. Right, this is ribbon, metallic edged ribbon. So what you should have now is a really cute little bow. But I haven't had to worry about too much. Let's just cut the tails off. There you go. Okay. Um, glue dot. Let's use a glue dot and put it there. Let's get that on. I quite like that. I like the fact you can see it's a jigsaw. I know you can. Um, I might glue that bit down, but I do like it. What do you think? Do you think it's... I don't know what's one there. I don't like that. Now, there. So, happy birthday, gorgeous. Celebrate. That's a card from me today. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye.